Earning passive income is what we're all after, right? But have you ever earned more than 5,000% on your coins? What's up? My name is Caroline and this is Wealth in Progress where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. In this video, I'll show you how you can make over 5,000% per year on VacuSwap. Now, this is the first DEX on Vela's chain and it has just launched its mainnet. Now, before we get started, just a quick word of warning. Yield farming is generally very risky. If you provide li liquidity in a yield farm where you provide a liquidity pool token, then you could suffer from impermanent loss. The APY usually goes down quite significantly, quite quickly. And also these are usually newer projects and even though it has been audited, there's still risk involved. Also, this video will first be available in the DeFi Academy. So it could be that once this goes live on YouTube, that the APY will have got will have decreased significantly already. If you'd like to get early access to videos like this one, then go down in the description and subscribe to my newsletter to get all the information about how you can join us in the academy today. So yield farming opportunity like this one are best used in the way that you use it for a couple of weeks when it just launches, when it just goes live. And then once the APY has dropped significantly, you'll look for something else. Now this has just launched its mainnet, so it's still a very good opportunity to get in. Plus what's cool about VacuSwap is that it is the first DEX on Vela's chain. So it basically has a first mover advantage and it's not just yield farming, but it's actually a DEX that we will use, that we will need and we'll use to swap tokens. All right, so I'm now on VacuSwap. So this is their homepage and you can see that the DEX is open to stake and to swap. Lottery is coming soon. So you can just click on stake here. I'll leave the link in the description so you can just head there. And now, as you can see, this basically looks like almost all the other DEXs that we know. So it looks like PancakeSwap or, or any of the other DEXs. So it's not that difficult if you've used any of those DEXs before. Now, what I like a lot about Vela's chain is that it is really, really fast and really cheap. I think it's the fastest and cheapest I've used so far. By the way, I've got a full video about Vela. So if you'd like to check that out and learn more about it, linked on top of my head so you can check that out for yourself. Okay, first of all, you can go to the top right and click on connect wallet. This will connect you to your MetaMask wallet. If you haven't installed that yet, I've got another tutorial about that linked on top of my head. So once you've got your MetaMask wallet installed, you can click on connect wallet, then choose MetaMask. So then it asks you to connect to WagiSwap, so you can click on next and then it will automatically set everything up. So you can click on connect. And now it also asks you to change the network. So I've been previously connected to the Phantom ne Network and now I need to connect to Vela's chain. So I can, so this will automatically do that. So you just need to click on approve and then click on switch network. All right, now you can see that this is connected. And if you click on MetaMask here, you see that this has now set up the Velas chain. So that's really useful. It will automatically do everything for you. All right, next we need to buy Velas token to then send it to VacuSwap and use it in there. Now, this is a two part process. So you first need to buy them. I've done it on Coinex, so I'll show you how to do that on Coinex. And then you first need to send it to your Velas wallet because then you need to swap it for another Velas token in there and then send it here. It won't work if you wanna try, if you wanna send it directly to, the, to your MetaMask. I've tried that, it won't work. So I'll show you all the steps. All right, now, first of all, I'll send some USDT over to Coinex. So this works the exact same way as any other exchange. So you can click on asset and then spot and then enter USDT and then click on deposit. And I like using the Tron network because it's just very fast and cheap. So that's what I've done. I've copied that address, pasted it into Binance, and now I'm sending over some USDT over here. All right, so my USDT have arrived. So now I'll click on exchange to actually buy Velas. So that is already pre-selected VLX USDT. So I'll just buy some VLX now. So I like using market price because then it gets executed immediately and I'll swap the max amount of USDT that I have. So 12 USD and then I'll buy VLX. Now if we go back to, if you hover over assets and then click on spot, that will show up in there. Now you can see I've received 30 VLX native or Velas native tokens. So now I've got those tokens, but I still need to swap them. So now they're Velas native, but we need Velas EVM. Only that is compatible with MetaMask. So we need to swap that in the Velas wallet. So first of all, you need to create a Velas wallet if you haven't done that yet. So if you go to velas.com and then click on the top right, click on wallet, and then you can click on that computer icon that basically gets you that, that wallet as an extension. So if you click on that, 
Then that's a very straightforward process, so I'll just show you the few first steps and then you'll be able to, to manage that yourself. So you first have to choose the language, so that's English, and then you have to click on create, set a password, and then on the next step there will be the seed phrase that you'll have to write down, just like you're doing with any other wallet. All right, now once you've created your wallet, it will look something like that and you're finally able to send your VLX tokens in here. So you can see on the left or in the middle here, you see the VELAS network tokens. So you see VELAS native, so I've used that before, that's why I have some VLX left in here. And then you see VELAS EVM, so we need that. First of all, we will send some tokens to VLS, to VLX native. So you can see that is chosen here, that's Velas native. And so you need to copy that address and then send your tokens over here. So click on copy. Then go back to your CoinX account and then simply click on withdraw next to Velas native. Click on withdraw. Then paste your address here and then the amount. So I'll send all of my VLX. Then you can click on submit. So I'll do my 2FA stuff quickly and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I've now got my VLS native tokens in here and now I need to swap them. So you can see down here it says swap. So you need to click on that and then it will, so we're now in the VLS native wallet and then you need to make sure that under choose network it says VLS EVM. Only that is compatible with MetaMask so we first need to swap that. So this is all good. Once it's like that, you can leave it like that and then I'll choose max here, so I want to swap all my VLX native token to VLX, VLX uh, EVM token. And then all the rest is fine, you can leave that as it is and then just click on swap. Okay, confirm that. Okay, so transaction has been sent, so we'll go back to home. That will take a few seconds to update. Okay, now it has updated, so my 32 Velas are now under, under Velas EVM. Okay, now we're finally ready to send it over to MetaMask and then start staking. So now you need to click on Velas EVM and then you can just click, that's the normal process as we know it, you can click on send and then paste your MetaMask address in here. Then copy that Velas address from MetaMask. So we'll paste that in here and then again I'll use Max to send that over there. Okay, once it's all good you can click on send. And then confirm again. Now that, that literally that literally took like five seconds. It's the fastest I've ever seen and it's super cheap, so really, really cool. So that has arrived in my MetaMask under Velas chain. So now we're ready to farm. So this works the exact same way as with any other DEX or yield farm. So you probably already know that, but if that's the first time for you, then let me just walk you through that quickly as well. So if so first of all, we've got two categories to earn rewards. One are farms and the other ones are pools. Farms are a way where you provide liquidity but from two coins simultaneously. So you have two coins and then you need to get the same amount of each coin, the same US dollar value of each coin. And then you pack that together, you get an LP token, you stake that LP token and that gets you rewards. That's the first category. And the second ones are pools, and that's where you just take one kind of one kind of token. So right now on the farms we have a couple of pairs. So only these pairs are available right now. So it's all that always VLX and then another token. Now you can see here that we've currently got really, really high APYs. I, I'm not sure if it will be that high when this video goes live on YouTube. But for the guys in the DeFi Academy, they can profit from those super high APYs right now. And then if we go over to pools, you can see that right now you can only stake VAG tokens. So that's the VAGUSWAP native token. But what I find really cool is that if you provide liquidity in the farms, so for instance, if you choose VLX USDC, then you get the VAC tokens as rewards. And then you can stake them again in the VAC pool. So I'll walk you through all that now. First of all, you need to get a pair. So you need to go to farms and then decide which pair you want to choose to provide liquidity to. So right now the highest one that I would recommend is VLX USDC that has an APR of 15,000%, really, really crazy. And the good thing about that is that your risk of impermanent loss is not that big because I expect Vela's chain to actually increase in price quite significantly over the next couple of months because it's a chain that is up and coming. Its ecosystem has just started and they've actually put a fund into growing their DeFi ecosystem. 
So I would choose that. So what you need to do is you need to swap half of your VLX into USDC. Okay, so we'll go to trade, then click on exchange. So you can see I've got my 32 VLX in here. So I need to swap half of that for USDC. So I'll just choose 15 so I have some left for the, for the fees. So that gets me six USDC. Okay, that's all good. And then I can click on swap and then confirm swap. Then we need to confirm that in our MetaMask wallet. Okay, so that has arrived. Now we've got both tokens now. What we need to do now is get that LP token. So we put those, those tokens together and get a new token and then we can stake that. So next on the left, you need to click on liquidity and then click on add liquidity. Then you can choose the pair. So that's VLX and USDC. And then I like to choose max on the, the second pair, on the second option. And you can see that will automatically up to update how much VLX that is on the other side. Okay, so that's all good. Then you can click on enable USDC, then confirm in your MetaMask. And now you can click on supply. So that's the summary of what's gonna happen. And that once it's all good, you can click on confirm supply and then again, confirm it in your MetaMask. Okay, so if you scroll down here, you see that we now have this LP token instead of the two separate tokens. Now we're ready to provide liquidity. So what we need to do next is click on farms on the left, then choose that pair that we've just bought the LP token for. So that's VLX USDC. Then you can click on that drop down here and next you need to enable farm. Confirm that in your MetaMask. Okay, so that's enabled. Now we can stake the LP token. So click on that. Then again, click max because we want to stake all of that. And what's cool as well is if you click on that calculator symbol, symbol here, you can first of all, so that's the US dollar value amount that we're gonna put in. And you can see that this will calculate how much you'll get. So it will calcul calculate on a yearly basis. Now, obviously this APY won't stay this high for a whole year, but it's just nice to you know think about it. <laughs> you can see how much you would earn. So pretty crazy rewards. But even if you just click on daily, you can see that if you choose the automatic compounding strategy that compounds every day, you would have your initial investment. You made it back within like two or three days. So that's really nice if you get in early. Okay, so that's all good. So we go back here and then we can click on confirm. Then again, confirm in your, in your MetaMask. And that's it. They're now staked in here and they will now start re earning uh, WAG rewards here. And then once there is some WAG in here, you can actually harvest that. So you can click here again, confirm that in your MetaMask. Okay, so I don't have any WAG uh, yet, but if I had, then they would have been harvested and now in my MetaMask. And now what you can do next, what I mentioned earlier, is that you stake your WAG rewards in the pool. So if you go to that pool and then I would recommend the auto compounding because then you don't have to touch it anymore. It's really simple. And then again, if you click on details on the drop down here, the exact same thing. So it's really the same process. Again, you need to click on enable and then confirm that in your MetaMask. And then, and then click on stake. So right now, I don't think, yeah, I have a tiny amount. So let's see if I can already stake that. Now again, you can click on that calculator to see how much you'd earn. But since this is not even a dollar, this won't show up here. But uh, hypothetically, you could just type in, for instance, a <clears throat> hundred dollars. And then you can again see how much you would earn per day. So again, you would have, it made even more than your initial investment within just a couple of days. Okay, so we'll try that. If that works, you can click on confirm. You can confirm in your MetaMask. Okay, so that worked. Uh, not a whole lot, but well, I've, uh, I've not a whole lot, but at least, at least I managed to show you. Now, once you want to stake more, you can click on the plus sign, or if you want to withdraw that, then simply click on the minus sign. Also, if you want to withdraw the liquidity in the farms, what you need to do is you also need to click on the minus sign. So you need to click on that minus sign. So I'll quickly show you. Then again, click on max and then on confirm. Confirm all of that. So that has been unstaked. And then if you go back to liquidity, that will show up. And then if you click on the drop down, you can click on remove and then it will split up those tokens again. So that's the whole process. 
So yeah, that's it. That's how you can earn super high rewards, at least for the moment, on Wagyu Swap. It's the first decks on Vela's chain, and I expect a couple of more. And I actually expect a lot more projects launching on Vela's chain pretty, pretty soon. So I definitely still see some, quite some good potential for that ecosystem and for that Vela's chain, the base token as well. I'll also create another video about how you can stake Vela's tokens, the VLX tokens. You can also stake them in the wallet. You'll earn a lot less than here. You'll earn about 10%, but it's also a lot less risky. So it's, it's pretty much a stable income. So look out for the video. Don't forget to, forget to subscribe to be notified when that is live. And yeah, if you'd like to get early access to videos such as this one, then don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter to get all the information about how you can join us in the DeFi Academy as well. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, share with your friends and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!